Hi, I'm Clover and welcome to my channel. This is episode 6 of a series where I try to be as self-sufficient in Stardew Valley as possible. If you haven't seen the earlier episodes, they'll be linked above. The full rules are in the description below, but as a quick reminder, I can't buy anything I can find or make myself, and I need to do as much to support the community as possible. You all overwhelmingly voted that we get the coop upgrade first, so that's what we're going to focus on this episode after we make sure that we get the new season off right. So let's get started. 13 mixed seeds. We have exactly enough for two full squares and one lone corn plant. Also, thank you very much to whoever reminded me that I need hay for winter. I would cry if I accidentally starved all of my animals. Hey time! Thank you for your milk. Hi, Rosemary. And Rosemary has some food and an egg. Reset the recycling machine and let's go try to get some more mixed seeds. I've also been told to go to level 21 of the mines for mixed seeds. So we'll try that if we don't have any luck. Let's also see if we can complete the fall bundle today. I only need three more items for it, so it shouldn't be too hard as long as there's forage. Hi, Haley. And she doesn't notice me. Classic. Okay, my silo is full, so I will spend way too much time in the barn and just remove this one piece at a time and stick it all in a chest. This is going to take a while. Now, of course, I only have two animals right now and winter is only 28 days, so they really don't need more than 240 pieces of hay, but I'd, I'd rather have it all on the off chance that I actually manage to get more animals than, you know, run out. Get a little bit more hay in the empty silo and then let's actually go back to looking for mixed seeds and forage. A hazelnut. Okay, I just need a plum now and I will have the fall foraging bundle. Hi, Sebastian. It is the big harvest season if you have things to harvest. Hi, Demetrius more blackberries. Well, let's drop off what we do have at the community center right now. And then see if we can find a bum near the south of town. Oh, there's a new quest. What's this? Catch three albacore. Well, we'll do our best, Willie. No promises, but I'll try. Albacore are ocean fish, but I highly doubt you can get them at 8.40 p.m. at night, so we will try that tomorrow. A plum! Okay, it's getting late, but we're going to rush back to the community center and hopefully get there and back home in time. And 30 fall seeds. Some of these we'll make into saplings so that we can get a whole bunch of money that way. And some of these we will save and plant. I know it's technically more beneficial in terms of money to sell them all as tea saplings, but I really enjoy planting them, especially when I have such a small farm right now. So we're going to do some that way. And we can worry about sorting out the tea saplings and fall seeds tomorrow. Good night. First things first today, let's get some tea saplings made. I have 30 mixed seeds, so let's make 10 of these tea saplings so I can have 10 seeds planted. Actually, let's make 11 so that the eight fall seeds can take up the remainder of this poor lonely corn section. Planting time. Gotta water everything. Oh, I have a corn. Ooh, a chanterelle. Let's go stop by Robins to check how expensive the coop upgrade is. And it's Robin's day off, so we can't actually check. Well, let's go get those albacore. Oh, finally, special orders board. This is actually going to be very helpful. Those quests are a little bit more difficult. Some of them I'm not sure I'll be able to do, if, like the one that requires a whole bunch of eggs, but they are all worth so much. Plus, great way to help the town. There's also a quest from Clint to get copper in the mines. So once we work out the fishing, we'll go do that and we should check the special orders board. 80 hardwood for Robin. Albacore. I should, after the red snapper debacle, I should go look this up. Oh my God, it was a night fish. I'm so disappointed in myself. Well, okay, so I can't go fishing for albacore right now, but they'll come back at 6 p.m. according to the wiki. And I believe Willie goes to the salon at night. So let's go try to get copper ores for Clint and also some more mixed seeds from the mines at that one level I have suggested. And then we'll come back, see if we can get albacore. And if not, I'm sorry, Willie, I'm just an idiot. I don't have a sword. Excuse me. I'll be right back. This is all going wonderfully. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Level 21 I was told to go to. Oh, there are a ton. Plus, there's actually a lot of copper here, so that's good. Okay, let's go back to the ocean for fishing now. That was not very much, but we did get 10 copper. Casual stroll back down to the ocean. And can I get three albacore before... Oh, hi, Willy. Please don't go to bed. It would help if I was good at fishing. Oh no, he's going to bed. 
I'm very sorry, Willie. I tried to get your albacore, but I am just an idiot. <laughs> to add insult to injury, that wasn't even an albacore. That quest didn't happen. Let's go start Robin's quest. I think there's some stumps on my farm I can chop down. There's purple mushrooms? Two purple mushrooms. I will run out of energy if I chop down another one tonight, but that's okay. Marnie needs amaranth. Okay, so let's do all of the chores, stop by Robin's to see if we can get the coop upgrade yet, and then go to the mines to get all of the ore for Clint. Ooh, a pomegranate, two pomegranates. Okay, those will be very useful for the community center. Let's sell everything and go to Robin's. Can we get the coop upgrade? Yes, coop upgrade complete, or it will be complete soon. We can finally get some more chickens. We'll be able to hatch them soon. Oh, that's so exciting. Finally, I will not be limited to a small set of two animals. As a reminder, we are going to buy a chicken of a different color because it does count as a different animal technically, but I just wanted to upgrade the coop first so that I could make sure my money was going to the most efficient place possible. Oh, I'm so close to the amount needed for Clint. Copper, just need one more piece. Okay, quick check for anything valuable and then we're off to Clint's. Uh, hi Clint. Will this quest work this time? Yes! Now, the next quest is Robin's, but in two days I already managed to get 28 wood, so I think I'll be fine with talk to everyone. Hi Haley. I don't think I have anything you like, but I can always say hi. Oh my god, I completely forgot I could buy fall seeds. And it's already the fourth. What am I doing? Forgetting my own challenge. Okay, so that's what we're doing first after the farm chores. And then we'll worry about everything else today. I got so used to not buying anything that I completely forgot the start of a new season meant I could buy things. Who made these rules? <laughs> we're pretending it's the first of the season even though it's the fourth. And the wizard wants me to go kill two ghosts in the mines. So that's what we'll do once we get the crop situation sorted out. Now, of the fall crops, most of these are available through either random seeds or skull caverns. There are a few that are not. I can buy one amaranth and one fairy seed, and that's about it because grapes are forage. Not a big number of things to buy, but better than nothing. So let's get these planted and then go into the mines to try to kill some ghosts. Now, I do have an active quest to get amaranth for Marnie's goats, but that is not going to be what this amaranth is for. This amaranth is going to be saved to go into a seed maker, and then once I eventually get multiple amaranth, then I will give one to Marnie for her goats. You also have a farm. Grow some amaranth. Okay, ghost hunting time. Ghosts are on the ice levels, so I like 60. Ooh, Jade! A ghost! Ooh, amethyst. Another ghost. Now, I doubt we can make it over to Rasmodius' tower before that locks for the night. So because this quest lasts for two days, let's just go get some mixed seeds, make some progress in the mines, and then we can go talk to Rasmodius tomorrow. Get some topaz. Yes, a ladder. Oh no. Okay, let's eat something really quick. And that was all of my food. Oh good, there's a ladder. Excellent. Let's run. Oh no. Uh-uh. Nope. One mix seed. That is what I have gotten from this whole experience. I'm running. Goodbye. So since tomorrow I have to go talk to Rasmodius to get the reward for that quest, why don't I spend tomorrow trying to increase my friendships, go around, give a whole bunch of gifts, talk to people, do all of that. Ooh, level 6 combat! I have an incubator! So today's egg is not turning into mayonnaise, it is going to turn into another chicken. I'm so excited. Rosemary, you're going to get a new friend! Take Rosemary's egg and... Incubator! You know what? To celebrate this, why don't we also go buy a white chicken today? Ooh, a mahogany seed! I might as well plant that before it gets too cold. And there's a whole bunch of wormies on my farm. Mix seeds! This is very exciting. I am planting all three of these right now. Now let's go finish that quest by talking to Rasmodius. Give gifts and just see where we end up. I'm also going to grab my fishing rod just in case. Oh, let's go buy our chicken. One little white chick. Just have to reset this a whole bunch. White chicken! And this one is going to be named Parsley. 
Asmodeus, I did your quest. Thank you for paying me a lot, honestly. That was a lot for that. Um, would you like a present? Yes. Hi, Marnie. I don't know what you'd like. Oh, milk. I have a milk. Yes. Today will be a low income day, but it's worth it. Especially because I'm also getting my duck. My only bought duck it is going to be Nate Sage. Hi, Leah. I do not have a kitchen. I really wish I had a kitchen, but you also don't have a kitchen. So can you even cook? Do you like amethyst? No. Oops. Oh, there's a quest. Demetrius wants a gold bar, and I just so happen to be carrying some gold bars. Excellent. Emily, I have your cloth. Would you like a topaz, Gus? Yes, apparently. Would you like a topaz, Robin? Yes. And Demetrius, I have your gold bar that you suddenly requested to wear on a chain for some reason. Hi, Jota, you look stressed. I wish I had something nice for you. Would you like a jade? Yes. Now Abigail gets her amethyst. And sure, do you like a gold bar? Nope, Carolyn does not. Let's go do some fishing. Let's see, now that I've gotten the coop upgrade, I think the next thing I'm going to focus on is the house upgrade. I would really like to get the barn upgrade, but it's only going to lead to one more animal right now, and they have such a low chance of pregnancy that I'm not sure it's worth it. The house upgrade is going to keep me from passing out as much, and I also think it's necessary before I get to Skull Caverns. One more fish and then we'll go to bed. My first eggplant! Excellent! I need to save that. And then, short time. And to all of my new little animals! Hi, Sage! A little parsley. And why don't I start pickling blackberries and one of my ancient fruits? I think today I want to go foraging and fishing again. Pretty basic, but I'm sure there's fall fish I need for the community center bundle. I don't want to wait until the end of the season and then have to rush around to try to get them all. First, I'm going to stop up at the spa to get some more energy back. I'm a little bit well, you know, just a little bit. Thank you to everybody who keeps reminding me that this exists. I know, I'm just bad at remembering. <laughs> it's literally on a sticky note in front of my face and I've still missed it so many times. Also, I looked it up and you only need 10,000 gold and 450 wood to upgrade the house. So that should definitely be doable soon. Hopefully by the end of this episode, you'll have everything required and then it'll be easy. I'm just going to try to get wood as I wander around because we currently have about 300s. What's your favorite season in game? Mine is definitely fall. It's so pretty. I love the way the falling leaves look, but also just general reddish aesthetic, you know? It feels so comforting. We're getting boring fish. Let's go over to the ocean. Sorry, Brames, but I want like salmon or dorado or something fun, you know? A chest! And I got a skeletal tail, and I'm out of space. Oh no. Oh dear. I can't throw anything out. I'm going to put down the seed and pick it back up and eat it. Okay, let me eat an algae. I'm so glad that didn't fall into the ocean. Okay, eat an algae. Got my seaweed. I'm ran out of space, so I'm done fishing now. That was really successful. I got a lot of stuff. Oh, there's a quest I didn't see. Demetrius wants me to kill three crabs in the mines. Sure, I'll do that. Guess we're going to the mines tomorrow. And let's go to bed. Let's see what today has in store for us. <laughs> Daily chores time. It looks like I got several pumpkins. Great. Gotta milk my cow. Say hi to parsley and to sage and to rosemary. And let's chop down the rest of the hardwood that Robin needs. That should be all 80. So we'll drop off the hardwood on the way to the mines to kill some crabs. And hopefully they will be easy to find because we need to stop and talk to Demetrius before he decides to disappear for the night. Yay! 2,000 gold. Those are so worth it. I really hope I can do the next one I find. Ignore me just casually eating all the hazelnuts I find so that I don't have to wait in the spa to regain my health. And I know I should do it more often, but I'm also a very impatient person. <laughs> and I would like to just have enough energy now. 
but especially when I'm on a time limit, like for this quest. Floor 100, with very little food, as per usual. Come on, crab. Nope, I'm not that lucky. If you haven't worked it out at this point, my username is ironic. I'm not lucky. Oh no. A crab! Oh dear. One crab dead. A crab? Please? Please? A crab? Crab for a struggling YouTuber? Well, I made progress even though I'm failing at finding crabs. And I got a McSeed! Yes! If those aren't crabs, I'm going to an easier level. Yes! A crab. I'm still going to an easier level. A crab! It has to be lava crabs. Well, I'm glad I started on those levels. I am now going back to those levels, even though I definitely can't finish the quest. I'm sorry, Demetrius. I killed two out of three of the crabs you wanted dead. That is a definite improvement on their overpopulation or invasion or whatever the exact terminology is. Diamonds! I got a diamond. Honestly, I'm more happy about the mix seeds. But like, who's upset about diamonds? This is risky. I can eat that. It's not going to do much, but I can eat it. I am not dying here. Run. Run. It's a bummer I couldn't make it down one more level, but I am running. I am not losing my mix seeds. Plant my mix seeds. Hopefully before something kills me. And then... Bed. Ooh, level 8 foraging. So I figured today, after our chores, we can go check and see if there's any more quests. And it's blackberry season. Ooh, a new cooking recipe and a quest for Linus. Blackberry season is going to be so good. Blackberries are one of the foraging items for the foragers bundle, so we need to collect 50 of those. That shouldn't be that hard. I've already gotten 12 just from my farm. And we actually have a decent sized farm going so far. Ooh, a warp totem to the mountains? I didn't expect that from a wormy spot. Hi, Parsley. You grew up. Why don't we also take the things to drop off at Gunther's? So, let's go sell these things, get Linus's berry basket, check for some quests, and drop off what we can at the community center and the museum before going foraging. Getting all of the blackberries will be no problem. I already have almost 50. The real question will be if we can get all of those plums for the foragers bundle. It's one of the remix bulletin board bundles. And there's Linus's berry basket. There's some things I'm very glad I've memorized the location of. That's one of them. No quests, but another blackberry. And there's a new quest over here. <laughs> I cannot get 25 gold star vegetables in 21 days. I'm glad you're hopeful, Pierre. And I also can't get 100 pumpkins in 21 days. Um, so that's great. I might as well try Pierre's produce request because I mean, it's there. I should try all the quests I can, but <laughs> Pierre, really? Are you just mad that I don't buy enough from you? Is that why you're trying to get 25 gold star vegetables from a farm that does not produce vegetables? Hi Gunther. I wish I could actually like talk to Gunther and get to know him, you know? Let's see. A skeleton. Okay. I'm a bit curious where you got those bones, considering I'm finding all of the bones in your museum, but I'll accept it. Sad these to the foragers bundle. And then grab all of these blackberries. Say hi to Robin and grab some more blackberries. There's so many. Sorry, Linus, I'm going around and collecting them all before you get your basket back. But, I mean, there'll be more tomorrow. It's fine. Hi, Linus, have your basket back. This blackberry sprite actually looks very good. Like, some of the food sprites I'm just kind of ambivalent about. They look somewhat like the food. But the blackberry one actually looks like a big blackberry. So many berries. This is going to be great. I'm going to save half of them to make into different forms of jam, but the rest should still make me a decent amount. Four berries on 25% profit, of course. Nothing makes a lot on 25% profit. Oh no, it's midnight. Run. I say run and then I keep getting distracted by more berries. This is not effective cloak. I'm not going to make it at this point, so I might as well get the remaining berries, you know? Just 
give in and accept my fate and hope I don't lose all of my berries. Uh, nope. Well, I had to fade from something this episode. <laughs> Apparently the answer was berries. Harvey, why did you bill me over 500 gold? That's just rude. More importantly, I have so many things grown. And then today, let's do some more foraging. And then I think let's go fishing. See if there's any quests on the way through the town, of course. But fishing will be a good source of money to complement all of my new berries. And make up for the 500 gold I lost trying to get berries. Not my best choice. Um, oops. Why don't we stay here and go fishing for a little bit before continuing with foraging? I should really check what my fishing bundles are. I don't remember. Ooh, there's a bubble spot over there. Seriously? Apparently the disappearing bubble spot is a sign that that was enough fishing there for now. Back to foraging. Haley, I thought we were becoming friends. Please don't. Also, how do you feel about- no. I tried. I just so happened to have accidentally got the last fish for the river fish bundle. So I guess... bundle complete? Oh, and there's another quest! I completely missed it in my distraction over fish. Emily wants an eel. I'm assuming you can fish up eel in this season, then. And I believe they are a night fish, so I might as well go try to do that. I believe I also need an eel for a fish bundle. So let's see if we can get two. Bubbles! It would help if I didn't overshoot the bubbles. That's better. Anchovy. That was not the bubble spot. Seaweed. And no more bubbles. I'm really unlucky with them. I am almost out of energy and it is midnight, so let's not faint again just because I wanted to get some more berries. I say and then immediately get distracted by berries. But like, it's free! Living a self-sufficient life, I can't just overlook free fruit. And bed before I faint again. Oh yeah, look at that. I made over 2,000 today. That more than made up for the 500 I lost. And I have some more eggplants! Now it's getting kind of late in the season to have so few plants. So I think today I want to go back to the mines to try to get some more random seeds, because that's where I've had the best luck somehow. And then I will run back to the ocean at night to try and get an eel for Emily. If I'm lucky, I might be able to get one in the short time period between the eels appearing at night and Emily getting off work. Ooh, I have a duck feather already! Okay, let's grab some Autumn's Bounty just in case, and then go forage on our way to the mines. Linus is so easy to get gifts for. Just pick a berry off a bush and hand it to him. I mean, okay, yes, I would also be thrilled if I was just handed a berry. Um... But. <laughs> Ooh, red mushroom. Mix seeds! Yes. Ooh, a farm warp totem. That'll be handy. And some topaz. Somehow not fighting a whole bunch of enemies on this level makes it feel creepier than it is. You know, like if I were attacked by a whole ton of things, I would be freaking out, but it wouldn't feel creepy. I'd just be like, oh yeah, this is the mines. As per usual. Oh, good timing for my ladder. 410. Ooh, those boots are so nice. I'm going to put my boots on and pick it back up. Okay, let's see if we can get an eel for Emily. And obviously pick up some more berries on the way. I forgot my fishing rod. Grab my fishing rod, and it's like it never happened. It's fine. Okay, we'll give it one more shot and then go home. I'm really not doing that good at filling quests this time. I'm trying, I'm just not really succeeding. Sorry, Emily. Grab a few more berries on my way home. I wish I could forage some more, but it's too late. Uh... <laughs> 
Oh no. I fainted on my porch. <laughs> okay, so lesson learned. Clover makes very bad time decisions when there's berries involved. <laughs> Ooh, my one amaranth has grown. Let's save the amaranth so I don't make silly choices and get rid of it. And I think I have enough food saved that I can finally start selling some of it. Hi, Thyme. Hi, Parsley. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Sage. A new chick hatch. Let's name this one Oregano. Hi, little baby Oregano. You're so cute. And I'm going to put this white chicken egg in to hatch another one. So, since I don't have very much energy after my questionable choices, um, why don't we spend today as a nice little gift foraging day, since there are still some blackberries. Just a calm, chill day, where we actually pay attention to what time it is and don't get stuck somewhere 2am and lose all of our energy again. Yeah. Oh, hi Jess. Would you like a blackberry? No. Oops. Okay. Lesson learned. Do not give the kids fruit. Here, I have a weird void essence for you. Do you like it? Hi, Marnie. Would you like a pomegranate? Yes. Hi, Jody. Would you like maple syrup? Oh, it's her birthday. And she liked it. Yes. Hi, Vincent. Do you like snails? He loves them. And says I'm not as boring as most grown-ups. You know what? I'm going to take that as a compliment. Hi, Haley. Have a diamond. Oh, there's a new quest. Gus wants a red mushroom. You do know those are poisonous, right, Gus? And then I think I have just enough energy and time to chop down one tree before bed. I'm getting pretty close on the amount of gold needed for a house upgrade, so I just need to collect the wood for it. Uh, <laughs> I'm always being attacked on my farm. Okay, so today I need to get a red mushroom for Clint, and then we'll see where we're at. For all of my disjointedness, this episode is going really well. The coop upgrade was easy, it looks like the house upgrade should be easy. We've definitely hit a stride, and Marnie gave me 30 hay. Amazing. And some of my vegetables have grown. Let's be off. We're so close to the bottom of the mines. And the first thing I got rid of was a ladder. Okay, well this is going to be interesting. And I already have a red mushroom. Excellent. So let's just see how far I'm comfortable going and then go give this mushroom to Clint and it's a good day. Diamond. And a ladder. That skeleton in the wall is very creepy. Ooh, and a purple mushroom. Now if I could stop being attacked by bats, this would be perfect. Amethyst and topaz. And some jade. This is one good mind strip. Now I'm going to go drop these off upstairs. No, I'm going to go drop this off with Clint and then come back and keep going through the mines because this is going shockingly well. Don't want to accidentally lose all of my progress. Wait, it is not Clint who wants this, it's Gus. I'm very glad I registered that before making a big mistake. And back to the bottom of the mines we go. Ooh, an emerald. Ooh, more emeralds. I like this. Took paths. Ooh, and I already have a ladder. Already another ladder. You know, that was, that was a great, that's great. I'm so pleased this has happened on my last real level of the mines to fight through. That was a very funny outcome. But I made it. I have the skull key. Once I get the vault bundle done, I can officially go to Skull Caverns. And that very successful mind trip is where I'll end today's episode. Things are really starting to look up. We've gained so many more animals, prepped for winter, and made it all the way through the mines in this episode. Next episode, we'll start with upgrading the house and just see where we go from there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this slightly chaotic episode. As always, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, so that I can keep improving. Bye. Level seven mining. Amazing.